Mexico's government has issued a travel warning to its residents about heading to Arizona because of that state's new immigration law. The city of San Francisco will vote today on bo boycotting Arizona. No contracts with companies located there. No conferences in Scottsdale or Tucson. Social media sites are spreading the boycott movement, and the tourism industry in Arizona is worried. Protests are growing louder over the tough new state law that mandates police investigate suspected illegal immigrants. Another rally planned in Dallas under the banner, We Are All all Arizona. Arizona is today seeking ideas from local police officers and the Fed on how to train some 15,000 police officers to support the law. Critics say no matter how much training, officers will end up racial profiling and minorities will be afraid to report crimes. The Rainbow Push Coalition says the law is a punitive, negative, unconstitutional law which presumes guilt and selectively punishes Latinos. Joining me now, the head of the Rainbow Push Coalition, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Reverend Jackson, we were talking yesterday about why there's not more support in the African American community to fight laws like this. And I had a viewer email me and say, there's no link between illegal immigration and African Americans that we, African Americans, did all the heavy lifting for freedom and for civil rights. Do you agree with my emailer? No, I do not. As a matter of fact, uh, Reverend Warren Stewart at First Institution Baptist Church in Phoenix is leading the drive along with a coalition to support uh, the human rights of Latino citizens. So that is not, it's not a shared position. We have very well known the, the burden of race profiling, profiled by how you look, how you talk. And strangely enough, driving while black became a big issue not too long ago. And so there's a law that applies for Mexicans coming north but not Canadians coming south. Right. It's unconstitutional and I think uh, contested to be unfair. Is it time for Congress then to tackle the issue of immigration? It is time. With 12 million undocumented workers in the country who do work, who do, who do generate revenue, who do pay taxes, who do have children in schools, who are born here, in fact, it should be addressed and immediately because it's becoming an issue that's hot and dangerous. Really, it's a form of terrorism. For the innocent, not just for the guilty. I mean, you look suspicious because you are Mexican. Four kids on the corner, police stop them, they, they may not be documented, they, they look suspicious, are uh, driving down right. the street. I mean, but, after but all, Jack Senator Mendez is Mexican, or Governor Richardson, they, they look Mexican, they have a different accent. But here's, That's the, bad, bad here's the argument that some people make, Reverend. They say those illegal immigrants are here in, their co in this country, they're... The very fact that they're here is a crime, and they're taking our jobs. When you're looking at the African-American community with an unemployment rate of more than 16 percent, is that a valid argument? Well, the robbery for us didn't come from workers that corporations brought here to do cheap labor. It really came from Wall Street. I mean, that is who uh, drove us into a uh, home foreclosure and church foreclosure, student loan default crisis. This issue about jobs has to do with the lack of an urban policy. We need a policy for urban America, but we uh, we made the big gift to, to uh, the banks without lending it, without lending uh, Lincoln to reinvestment. So I think the issue of our needing right. jobs in Senate Chicago has more to do with Wall Street policy and government not monitoring Wall Street than it does with, with, with Mexican Americans. I don't think that's fair.